Hello friends and relatives, Mrs. Julianne is here with you today. Today is April 2nd. Let's do the days of the week. We'll figure out what day it is. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Oh, there's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday. And there's Friday, and this, there's Saturday, seven days in a week, seven days in a week, seven days in a week, seven days in a week. Now, I have a friend named Aaron who was in my class at school, and he suggested that every Wednesday, which was yesterday, every time it's Wednesday and we're still home, just like we did at school, we'd have pizza day. Every lunchtime on a Wednesday was pizza day. So I have, that's a great idea, Aaron. Let's keep Wednesdays as pizza day if you can. And if you can't, you can use your imagination and maybe go in your room and, and pretend you're cooking pizza. You know, use your imagination. We are going to be home some more, not at school. So we have to figure out ways to use our imagination and have fun with thinking about different things to do. And that's why today maybe I thought we'd do this book. And this book is called Harold and the Purple Crayon. What color is this crayon? Right there. It's purple. Now there's a little boy named Harold and he has a purple crayon in his hand. Now let's look at just the, the first page. Can you see Harold? And he's got a crayon. What is he doing with that crayon? I think, I think Harold likes to draw with his crayon. Now this book, Harold and the Purple Crayon, was written by Crockett Johnson. There's his name right there. And that's on the cover of the book. Don't forget, we said the cover protects the pages. Harold and the Purple Crayon. Hmm. I like the name of this book because my favorite color is purple. One evening, after thinking it over for some time, he used his he used his brain, he was thinking. Harold decided to go for a walk in the moonlight. So if he was walking in the moonlight, let's think about it. Was it daytime or nighttime? When does the moon come out? That's right, nighttime. There wasn't any moon. And Harold needed a moon for a walk in the moonlight. And he needed something to walk on. Hmm. He made a long straight path so he wouldn't get lost. And he set off on his walk, taking his big purple crayon with him. Oh, wow. There's really not a lot of things on this page. No, no drawings except what Harold did with his purple crayon. But he didn't seem to be getting anywhere on the long straight path, so he left the path for a short cut across a field. And the moon went with him. There's the moon. The short cut led right to where Harold thought a forest ought to be. Look at that. He didn't want to get lost in the, in the woods, so he made a very small forest with just one tree in it. He did one tree. These pages are stuck. Okay. It turned out to be an apple tree. That's right. He drew the apples in the tree. The apples would be very tasty, Harold thought, when they got red and ripe. 
this tree must it has red apples there are different color apples when you go shopping or when you go to an apple orchard an apple orchard is where all the trees are are growing and that's where the apples are, are picked you might see different color apples so you put a frightening dragon under a tree to guard the apples it was a terribly frightened dragon now he's using his imagination because don't forget he's drawing all these pictures it even frightened Harold oh and he backed away his hand holding the purple crayon it shook oh look his hand is shaking Suddenly, he realized what was happening. But by then, Harold was over his head in the ocean. He was shaking. And so what did he draw? Yes, he drew waves from the ocean. He came up thinking fast. And in no time, he was climbing aboard a trim little boat. There you go. He took that purple crayon of his. He quickly set sail. There's a sail. He drew a sail. So what kind of boat would this be? Is it a motor boat? I, I don't see a motor, but I do see a sail. So I think that it's a sailboat. And the moon sailed along with him. After he had sailed long enough, Harold made land without much trouble. He stepped ashore on the beach, wondering where he was. The sandy beach reminded Harold of picnics, and the thought of picnics made him so hungry. So he laid out a nice, simple picnic lunch. Again, he took his crayon and he drew himself something to eat. What did he draw? Well, I, I don't know. Let's wonder what he would draw for a, a picnic lunch. Anybody have any ideas? What do you like to bring for your picnic lunch? Yeah, sandwiches. Oh, juice. But Harold, he drew nothing but pie. There was nothing but pie, but there were all nine kinds of pie that Harold liked the best. When Harold finished his picnic, there was quite a lot left. He hated to see so much delicious pie go to waste. There's all of his pies. Wow. So Harold left a very hungry moose and a deserving porcupine to finish it up. Look at that. He drew in a moose and a porcupine. There they are. There's the moose and there's the porcupine. And off he went looking for a hill to climb to see where he was. He doesn't, he doesn't know where he is. Harold knew that the higher up he went, the farther he could see. So he went way up high and then he could see far because he was way on top of the, the hill. So he decided to make the hill, not a hill, he decided to make it into a mountain. If he went high enough, he thought he could see the window of his bedroom. That's a good idea. I really like that idea. He was tired and he felt he ought to be getting to bed. Yeah, he's had quite an adventure already. He hoped he could see his bedroom window from the top of the mountain. Look at how high he drew that mountain. That's really high. But as he looked down over the other side, he slipped. And there he was on any other side, and there wasn't any other side of the mountain. So he was falling into thin air. Look, he drew it up to there, but then he fell. But luckily, he kept his wits and his purple crayon. Look at that. What is he drawing? Can anybody guess? He made a balloon, and he grabbed onto it. There he did. He kept his wits. He kept calm and he thought about a solution. That's what keeping 
keep his wits meant he kept calm and he thought a good solution. And I think it's a great solution. And he made a basket under the balloon, big enough for him to stand in. He had a fine view from the balloon, but he couldn't see his window. He couldn't even see his house. No house, no window. I can hear the birds chirping, can you? So he made a house with, the win with windows and he landed the balloon on the grass in the front yard. There he goes, he landed that balloon. There's the house, there's the windows. How many windows did he draw? One, two, three, four, four, four windows. None of the windows was his bedroom. He actually drew another one right here. He tried to think where his bedroom ought to be. He's using his, his head again, he's thinking, he's thinking. He made some more windows and he made a big building full of windows. Look at that, wow, do you see it? That's a lot of windows. He made lots of buildings full of windows. I think he's making a city where they have really big buildings. You know what those big buildings are called? Skyscrapers, really, really tall buildings. You can look up like that and you can't even see the top of them. He made a whole city full of windows. But none of the windows was his window. He couldn't think where it might be. Where is my window? He decided to ask a policeman. The policeman pointed the way Harold was going anyway, but Harold thanked him. A lot of, you know, policemen are very, very helpful to us. Policemen and firemen, they're very, very helpful. And he walked along with the moon, wishing was in his room and in his bed. Then suddenly, Harold remembered. He remembered where his bedroom window was when there was a moon. So he remembered when he used to look out of his bedroom window and he could see the moon he remembered where his bedroom window was positioned. Positioned means where it is lined up with the moon. And it was always right around the moon. Look. And then Harold made his bed with his crayon. He got in it and he drew up the covers. He drew, the, he drew a picture of the covers. And you know when you lay in bed and you pull the covers up over you? Another word for that is drawing the covers up. So drawing the picture, he drew the covers. There you go. The purple crayon dropped on the floor and Harold dropped off to sleep. Wow. That was an adventure and he used his imagination and he used his crayon and he created that's another word that we remember in some of our books he created he made this special world that he went to play in so today the beautiful day outside if you can get outside maybe take some chalk if you have some chalk and go outside on your driveway or next to where you have a place that you can draw on some rocks draw draw some pictures draw some pretend pictures or even if you don't go outside if you have some chalk or crayons get a paper and think of like maybe some of the places you might want to go and you can draw them okay you have a good afternoon stay safe I love you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.